Hello, it is time for an instructional video. Okay, so what game we will play today? First, you when you when the when the shock is on the rail, you take it and put it into your pocket there. Okay, that's the first step. Okay, then you take out all the balls. Okay, all the balls come out from the pockets if they are in the pockets to begin with. So uh, then you put ar spread around the balls on the table. Don't waste time racking the balls because you are going to lose a couple minutes during that time. So two two minutes lost that could have used uh, that you could have used to practice. Okay. So don't do breaks. Rule number one: don't do breaks. Okay. And now we have uh, this position. Okay. You you just accept whatever position you have, okay? Don't waste waste time trying to position the ball like this, okay? Position, you lose a lot of time. So, to, so just accept the posi position you have. It is random, so you just start running the rack, okay? So this is 10 ball, and uh, I like to place this magic rack here just so you get used to it, because if you go to a tournament uh, and then you see this plastic thing there, it is very distracting, okay? So that's why I just leave it there, but I don't rack the balls, I don't break, I don't break. I just use the magic rack there, just so I get used to it, to get used to seeing it while I run the rack, okay? And then, yeah, sometimes you can even put it at the side of the table, because in, in a tournament they often do that, and I think this is, this is very, very distracting to have it here, okay? So I just leave it here when I, when I practice so I get used to it. The most distracting thing in a tournament is when they leave it on the rail there. I don't like that at all. I don't like it. I just like to hang the magic rack far away from the table. So let's begin. We have this position. Here, this is going to be uh, an instructional video. That is long, much longer than my commentary videos. Okay, if you want something quicker, you check out my commentary videos. They are very quick. Okay, but they are not uh, as in depth as my instructional videos, like this one. Okay, very in depth. Here, I I showed you about the uh, magic rack also, so you learned something there. So now, these balls are blocking this the two ball. Eight is in the way. Six is in the way. Uh, here I could I I could go with the cue ball between those walls there, but that's very risky. And but this is a big area here. This area is very big for the cue ball. So I want to be somewhere here with the cue ball, okay? So I will just draw it back here, okay? Make sure I will go past this point. I will draw past this point. This is a very crucial point here. If if I don't get past this point, I will be snookered behind the eight. So get past this point. And don't go too far. So anywhere between these points, I can stop with the cue ball. So let's begin. First, chalk the cue. Chalk the tip, tip of the cue. Okay. So now I will draw back the cue ball here. Here, the nine is in the way here, so I can't grip properly here. Okay. I can't. I can't use my usual grip here. So I need to accept a longer bridge. I don't like a longer bridge. Okay. But on this shot, I need to take the longer bridge. I would preferably have a very short bridge here, but the nine is in the way, so I need to use a long bridge. So now let's draw it. Let's draw the cue ball back. Yes, that is good. This was the point I had to cross, and this was the point I could not uh, pass. Okay, so I, I landed between these two points, and I'm very satisfied with this shot. Okay. Now we are on the two ball, okay? And uh, position from the three ball to the four ball is difficult because the seven is in the way. So we need to hit the seven after making the three ball, okay? If we, are, if we have this kind of angle on the three ball, it is possible we can take this angle on the three ball to avoid hitting the seven. But uh, if we follow the cue ball, we might scratch in the corner there. And also position to the four ball is difficult because of these two balls which are in the way. 
So, this is a very difficult result, okay? There is a third option, it is by being here with the cue ball. And this, I like this, I like this a lot here, because I can make the three in the side, hit the seven, and have a good shot on the four ball, okay? So I think being somewhere here is very good. Very good. If you can control the cue ball, that is. If you can't control the cue ball, that's good. Maybe you should go somewhere in this large area here and uh, let luck decide what kind of angle you have on the three ball. But if you are a professional, I would prefer to play here as close to this cushion as possible, okay? So I'm, I'm going to attempt for this. I will attempt for that, okay? Here I use a little, little bit of inside spin, otherwise I would go like this. Yeah, little bit of inside spin and little bit top spin. Yeah, 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 maybe little more inside spin I would have liked, okay? Little more inside spin and let's say I shot it correctly. It came like this. Uh, so this is what this is what I had wanted, okay? I had to, I needed more inside spin on that shot, more than I, uh, more than what I used. So here, here I will hit the seven, okay? Just need to make sure not to hit the seven on, on the, the bottom part here, because then the seven will go here and the cue ball will be here, and the seven, seven will be in the way of the cue ball. So I want to make sure to hit the, seven as full as, as possible, so the seven, seven will go that path instead of that path, okay? Because if the seven is there and the cue ball will be here, I have a shot on the four. So this, this, this is why I will use inside spin, left spin to throw the seven to that direction instead of going that, that direction, okay? That is why I use inside spin, okay? Let's do that, inside spin. Like that, that is good. And also uh, notice that the, the seven is in front of the side pocket. So that is why you can plan ahead and attempt uh, and play with speed so that the seven, seven will stop right in front of the side pocket, which makes it easier later in the game. If you had shot harder and the seven would have stopped here, that would not have been good because this, this place is very difficult for the, for the ball to be in. The worst place is when the, the ball is here, right next to the side pocket. That's the worst place you can have. Okay, so now we are on the four ball. Here, many beginners, I see many beginners, they, they soft roll the ball. Soft roll, and then they miss the pocket there because the tables are rarely level, and they miss the ball because of that reason. And then if you soft roll it, you might end up you might end up too close to the to the five here if you soft roll because of the angle you have on the four. And therefore I prefer to shoot harder and go one rail there and then come out here with the cue ball. So let's do that. I want a little angle on the five ball to come up for the six. Here I use the magic uh, magic closed bridge that I talked about in my secret videos improve your skill by 50% in a day so this shot I this, this is a shot that I often uh, missed because so that I, because I didn't know about the secret bridge back then but now this is a lot easier this time yes I made it whoa I I didn't get good position there, okay? I was focusing on making the ball. I got bad position. Bad position. Let's make it again, okay? Let's do it again. I think it was something like this, yes? Something like this. Yeah, it was like this, okay? And magic bridge. I will shoot harder this time. Like that, okay. This book, this cue ball is slippery. Cue ball is very slippery now. I have recently recently cleaned all the balls. I cleaned the table, the rails. 
it doesn't grip good here in, at the cushion here after I vacuum cleaned the table. So this is something you can learn from that uh, if you have vacuum cleaned the table, it will play very different compared to before. So this, this is why I need to hit uh, further up on the cushion here because it doesn't grip uh, that good. With, after you have a vacuum, clean, vacuum cleaned and cleaned, the, cleaned all the balls, it doesn't grip as good. So I need to use hit the hit higher up on that cushion. Okay, so let's do that again. No, it, it, look at that. Maybe it is best to. Go, be, go under the file instead. At least now you can see that the, the, ac the accuracy of the secret magic, secret bridge, that it is working because I make it every single time something that I had problems with. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's do it better. What? I should have not talked talked at the same time as I pulled the trigger. Don't don't talk while pulling the trigger, okay? That is a big mistake. Okay, I will be quiet this time. I will just make it. There you see, much better if, if you just don't talk while you shoot. And now I hit it a little too high up there on the rail, but I didn't want it to skid on the rail and go too far down. So if you have recently cleaned the balls, cleaned the table, you want to make, make sure to hit it fur higher, higher up on the cushion there, because uh, it will slide. It will, it will slide otherwise, okay? So now we will play position for the sixth ball and the seven is right in front of the pocket, okay? So you can just make a stop shot here. So here I'm planning on making the sixth ball in the corner here. Maybe, uh, I, have a, maybe I have a too much angle on the five so the cue ball will go too high up. But because of only one reason, that the balls are clean, uh, the cushion is clean, Cloth is clean, I have vacuum cleaned everything. Because of this reason, the balls easily, more easily go in the pocket if you hit the uh, cushion first, because it will slide, okay? It will slide in. So therefore I aim to cheat the pocket here. I, I aim to hit this part of the cushion, okay? Because then I can hit thicker on the five and the cue ball doesn't go as far up here. It will stop here in front of the six, and that is what I want. So that is why I aim to cheat the pocket. It is called cheating the pocket if you don't hit the pocket straight in. Now, let's see what... No, no, I hit it too clean. I hit that too clean. Let's make it again. If you soft roll the ball, you can... The balls don't go where they should go. So now I aim to cheat the pocket here. What is what is going on here? What is going on? What is going on? I think I have a little elevation on my cue when I use inside spin. No, I don't. I don't have elevation. Ah, okay. So let okay, let's cheat the pocket here. Like that, okay? That is what I want to show you, okay? And on this shot, you, if you do that, you don't need inside spin here. Like I used. I used this shot again, okay? Like that it was, okay? Just pure top spin on this shot. What? This, this cloth, this table is not straight. This table is not straight because I, I just aimed too thick there. I aimed too thick. So this table is not straight here. Yeah. Okay. So now that is exactly how I want to shoot that shot. shot. Okay. This, this table is leaning. 
to this side, okay? That is why I, I hit it too thin every single time. I hit it too thin, okay? Now we have a good shot on the sixth ball. And I just want to, I want to be, let's see, here's the eight, okay? I want to be here on the eight. So I want to be on this side for the seven ball. So I can roll in the seven and have, oops, and have position on the eight, okay? So I will make a little draw shot here. Little draw shot, not too much. Yeah, like that, that is good. That is good. Now I can either uh, draw it back or follow it, but I, I have a little, little too much angle, so the cue ball would go here, and I don't want that. I want to be straight in on the eight. So I will make a draw shot. Uh, if I come too short, I, I want to be here with the cue ball, but if I come too short, that is not a problem because I will go one, two, three rails for the nine, okay? That is not a problem. I think I will show you, show you that. Yes, like that, okay? So I, I wanted to be here with the cue ball, but I landed here, but that is not a problem because this area, this area is free. This area is free to move around with the cue ball in. There are no other balls there, so it is, this is very easy. So here I want to go three rails. One, two, three, and come out a little bit from the rail here. And then I make the nine in the corner and one rail position for the 10 ball. That is quite easy. Now I, now I need to make sure that I don't go too far out when hitting the third rail. So uh, how we can mess up here is by if you are frozen on the rail here, then it is difficult to get to the 10 ball you might come up here, end up here. Uh, then you don't know what pocket you will make the 10 in. And this is, this is a missable shot here. Missable shot is end up here. But this, this the game is about 95% won already. So you just need to try to avoid the, the remaining 5% where you can lose with, okay? So I prefer to be somewhere here with the cue ball on the nine, okay? So hit the third rail, come out. So I will do that. Top spin here, a little left. Yes, that is good. That is good. Come out a little bit, yes. Here, here, the way you can mess this shot is by shooting too hard and too thin, because you want to get closer to the 10 ball, so, uh, People uh, often shoot this shot too thin. Try to cheat the pocket there so you can uh, go further here with the cue ball. And that is not good, okay? It is better safe than sorry, okay? So what, what I rather do is I accept this tougher shot on the 10 instead of drawing back here to get a straight in shot on the 10. So I accept to be maybe somewhere here on the 10. And then it is still a very easy shot on the 10 except that uh, you don't risk anything on the nine ball. So I will, I will make the nine ball soft, okay? With pocket speed. Pocket speed. You see? You see that? That is not, not something many amateurs do. Many amateurs, they just shoot hard and want to get closer to the 10, but that is very unnecessary because you risk a lot uh, on the nine ball. You can miss, easily miss the nine ball. Okay, so this is a shot that you can still make, okay? This is still a very easy shot. Yeah, and the game is over, you see? I didn't use any un unnecessary speed on the nine ball. I just shot it soft with pocket speed, okay? And I still could make the 10 very easy. Okay, so that's the end of my video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.